Welcome to our first Institute channel. Give us a like and tell us what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification icon so you never miss a beat with what's happening on our campus. Enjoy the video. Hey, what's up? My name is Tim and I am a digital film and video production instructor here at First Institute. On today's episode of Tips and Tricks, we're gonna be discussing how to make a music video from pre-production to post-production and all the good stuff in between. The most important thing to making a music video is obviously the music. You can't have a music video without music. So it's important that you get to know your artist, understand their vision. What do they want to see with the song? Is it a love song? Is it a fast paced like hip hop, EDM? What is it that we want to convey on screen? Now, once your song is selected, you're ready for pre-production. Now, pre-production will vary based on the scale of your project. If you're working by yourself, the scale is gonna be a little small, so you're gonna wanna simplify your pre-production process. Now, if you have a big budget and you're working with an artist that wants it well done, and it's gonna be on MTV or, or television, national television, or even on YouTube, then the scale of that project is gonna be much larger, and the elements of pre-production are gonna be crucial to what you put into your music video. Either way, they demand pre-production. And everything underneath the umbrella of pre-production includes budgeting, location scouting, auditioning for talent, as well as storyboarding. Now here's a pro tip. When it comes to budget, you wanna make sure that you're counting for everything that you need. Gear, talent, special effects, all of it. You wanna make sure that you have all your bases covered when it comes to your budget. Now you're probably asking yourself, pre-production, storyboards, and a music video? How does that work? You can interject a story in your music video to make it more appealing to the eye. You never wanna start off with your artist right away because it's kind of a dead giveaway. You wanna keep the story arc in mind. Act one, act two, act three. A simple way to do that or build a foundation for that is to take your song and break it down. Now you can break down a song in verses, choruses, bridges, and endings. But of course, you have your intro and your outro. Now that you have your foundation for your music video, you should be able to navigate your way from start to finish. So now that you got pre-production all taken care of, your next step is production. Now, one of the most important things to production is your crew. You gotta have a good crew. Because production days can be long, they can be hot. If you've got multiple locations, you're gonna have a lot of movement. Whether you're in a studio or outdoors, you really wanna consider your lighting. And what is that gonna look like in your post-production process? Now the fourth piece in this music video puzzle is post-production. This is where the magic happens. Of course, a lot of post-production depends on your pre-production. It's vital for your editor to have all the material that he needs to make the edit smooth and efficient through his process. So one of the things you wanna incorporate is file management. File management is key to a smooth post-production process. Now whether you choose to use Adobe Premiere, Final Cut or even DaVinci Resolve is up to you. What's important is the editing. Now if the song you're cutting is fast paced, you're gonna wanna put a lot of cuts in there, but don't overdo it. Remember, you wanna keep your audience engaged. And if it's a slower song, you may wanna consider incorporating some cinematic elements in there for some more feeling and to evoke some more emotion. Now here's a pro tip on editing. You do wanna have effects, transitions applied in your timeline to your production, but you don't wanna overdo it. If you overdo it, remember, you could end up distracting your viewer and turning them away. You wanna incorporate color correction to make that image really stand out. Bear in mind, it's important to keep the artist involved in every single aspect of this process, because ultimately, it's their baby that they wanna brag about. Once again, I'm Tim and thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and leave some comments below if you have any tips and tricks that you'd like to share with us. Want to keep up with the latest graduates and trends in the digital media industry? Subscribe now and we'll see you on campus soon.